Hello, my name is Hannah Siegel Prof. I'm a criminal defense attorney, a juvenile justice advocate, and an avid reader. I'm thrilled to participate in Books We Stand By. Choosing which book to focus on was not an easy decision for me. There are so many novels that have had an immense impact on my life. But the book I'm going to talk about today is A Lesson Before Dying by Ernest Gaines, a novel I have read at several critical junctures in my life, and it's, with, it's withstood the test of time. This no novel is set in a small town in Louisiana in the late 1940s. Jefferson is a young black man who's at the wrong place at the wrong time and is implicated in a liquor store robbery in which three men are killed. Jefferson is the only survivor and he is swiftly convicted of murder and sentenced to death by a jury of 12 white men. Grant Wiggins is also a black man who grew up in the same small Louisiana town and he's returned home from college to the plantation school to teach the local children. But Grant is conflicted. He wants to leave the South, but he feels guilty about the freedom that his education and accomplishments grants him. His aunt and Jefferson's godmother beg him to visit Jefferson in his cell and to help Jefferson see and understand that he is a man before the state unfairly punishes him to death for a crime he didn't commit. Without any spoilers, I can tell you that the teacher learns as much from Jefferson as Jefferson learns from him. They learn how to be better friends. They learn what a hero looks like. And eventually I think they both learn what it means to be a man. I first read this book in high school. At the time I took the, way, the main theme, America's racist his, history and the degradation of prejudice. When I read this novel a second time, I was a second year law student. I decided at that point I wanted to be a criminal defense attorney and I was in the midst of studying the American criminal justice system and thinking deeply about how white supremacy and systemic racism had shaped the system that I was about to join as a defense lawyer. This made book made me think hard about the power a lawyer has in the courtroom. As lawyers, we have the privilege of learning about the intimate details of our clients' histories and lives. These are often histories and lives that have faced a great deal of trauma and hardship. We then have the privilege of telling our clients' stories in the courtroom. Whether I'm telling the story of their life at a sentencing hearing or a story of innocence at trial, the accused trust me as an attorney and all of us as attorneys to bring dignity and respect to that telling. When the lawyer in a lesson before dying speaks in the courtroom, he portrays this innocent man he represents as less than human. He robs him of his dignity and his manhood. This lawyer does the exact opposite of what I hope to do each and every time I open my mouth to speak in a criminal courtroom. I stand by this book because it teaches me something each and every time I reread it. I hope you enjoy this book. I hope you have books that you stand by. Happy reading.